All right, so the dynamics test, which is scheduled for Wednesday and Thursday, the reason that it's two days is because, as you remember, the last couple of tests, we've sort of done them in pieces and parts, and I sort of forgot about that. I didn't sort of stop halfway and have a test. So what I've done is I've taken it six pages long. I Rather than save them all together, I'll hand you a page at a time. Okay? So you get done as much as you can tomorrow, and then whenever you've got left, you can finish that the next day. I just won't give you the last page until you're sort of ready for it. That's all. Okay, so it'll be important to put your name on every page, and then we'll just staple it all together again. Okay, so the first thing we looked at was fundamental forces. Okay, you might remember they are gravitational force, electromagnetic force, strong and weak nuclear forces. So those were the fundamental forces. Obviously, I would just ask you sort of a regurgitation question, what are the four fundamental forces, or which one is the strongest, or which one of the following is not a fundamental force, or something like that, right? Okay. We had a set of notes on Newton's laws. So you definitely need to know Newton's three laws. You can look those up. Newton's three laws. I might say which one of Newton's three laws is this example described by. Um, I might get you to fill in a blank with Newton's three laws. Certainly you, need, you would need to know that an object in motion stays in motion, right? You would need to know that whole how much force is required to keep it moving thing, right? So make sure you, because I've asked that question several times before, you would certainly need to be able to solve F equals MA kind of questions. Okay. And there was a couple handouts on that as well. There was a wonderful worksheet that was sort of a fill in the blank kind of thing. It says Newton's laws of motion, gravitation, exercise 3C. There's some wonderful sort of multiple choice fill in the blank style questions in there that I may just have gone looking for when I was making up the test. Hint, hint. We went through a bit of a clicker lesson on Newton's laws of motion. Okay, Macintosh, Fred spends most Sunday afternoons on the sofa. So just sort of learning more about Newton's laws. Okay. So you might want to refresh my memory with some of those. Remember the cat falling off the roof, hitting the water? Those ones. Okay. Uh, we still looked at a little more closely Newton's third law. The big misconception that a force is required to keep an object in motion. Why is a force required to keep an object in motion on Earth? Because of friction, exactly. Because of friction. If there was no friction, it would just simply travel forever. Right? Remember talking about NOAA formula and analytical? Okay, those, that's the kind of style of question. We had a handout on Newton's laws again. Which one of these situations, or which one of Newton's laws applies to that situation? So we, we dealt with that quite a bit. Uh, then we got into free body diagrams, or FBDs. Okay, there was a handout. We started talking about free body diagrams. King Kong climbing the mountain, or climbing the Empire State Building and whatnot. Dot and Spot walking each other. There was a second handout on free body diagrams where you were to draw, I think there was 11 different free body diagrams to draw. You could certainly expect to have to draw a free body diagram tomorrow. Okay, that would be an expectation. I gave you a bunch of sample questions on Newton's laws. Basically, F equals MA. And... F net is equal to FA plus FF, right? Remembering that the friction force is always, anybody? Positive or negative? Friction force? Negative, right, first. Right? So there was three or four example questions there. I gave you, I think, four different sheets with problems on them. Some of them had the QR code there on the bottom. Okay, hopefully you spent a fair bit of time working through some problems. There was a little quiz that we did. I give it back to you. I think it was at a four. 
We did do a little clicker quiz on friction as well. That took us a day, I remember, and then I went through it the next day. Remember the one with uh, the cars and the catapult on the aircraft carrier and stuff like that? Okay, so there were several, several questions along those lines. And we wrapped up with the lab, right? So you need to complete the lab. You should have some general understanding of what happened in the lab. You should know that as you increase the force, right, in F equals MA, if you increase the force, right, you make the force big because the mass remains the same, what has to happen to the acceleration? It also has to get bigger, right? The acceleration is, is proportional to the force. The bigger the force, the faster the block moves, right? And then what happens when you increase the mass? If you make the mass bigger, what happens to the acceleration? It gets smaller, right? Okay, that's what you should have found in the, uh, in the lab. Well, when you did it on the wood blocks, there was obviously some friction there, so it caused some problems. You're manually timing and whatnot. Okay, so what you needed to do, and you need to complete that today, is part two is online. You need to basically do exactly the same lab in a zero friction environment. Okay, did you guys get nice, beautiful graphs, Jesse, what you did yesterday? Yes, Pure, perfectly straight? Yes, perfectly straight because there's no friction involved. Okay, so you got the rest of this period to sort of work on your cheat sheet, finish up the lab, test is Wednesday, Thursday. If there's anything else you need to wrap up on Friday and hand it in, Friday's the deadline for anything that's been assigned. Okay, I'm going to finish up all the whole whack of marking over the holidays. You need to hand stuff in. If you don't know what you're missing, go to deadline. Figure it out. Okay, got lots of cleanup stuff to do this week. I want to start nice and fresh on, let me get back, Mr. Smigalski is going to take over with gravitational fields. Yes, Courtney. Yeah. No, those are um, just common forces. Fundamental forces are gravitational, electromagnetic, strong nuclear, weak nuclear. There's, you don't have that? Okay. I was going to say, check Devin's notes, but you know. Maybe one of these guys has some notes you can jot down. Or you can look on it too. They should be there, actually. Okay? Mm -hmm.